things uh, escalated quickly at the end of the third, start of the fourth? What, what sparked that run for you guys? Um, I mean, just getting some stops. I mean, the end of the third was kind of crazy, but um, just coming out in that fourth, going on that quick run just to get that distance in, um, that was huge for us. Just getting okay. stopped, really. Was it just a matter of buckling down? Yeah, I mean, um, just getting stops and just getting out in transition, pushing it, um, sharing the ball, finding an open guy. Um, and then, obviously, JT went nuts there at the end, but um, just getting stops and running. You've been on a pretty crazy tear. What has that been like for you guys, for it, everyone else? It's been it's been fun to watch. Um, personally, on this side, I, I enjoy it. Um, I mean, super talented. Um, but he's doing it like within the offense, and um, he's doing a good job of finding guys you know, when they come with double team and stuff like that. So um, it's been fun to play with and, and fun to see. Does it open up more things for you? Yeah, I mean they're they're doubling, so um, everybody's in rotation, um, kind of chasing. So um, it's a good opportunity for me and everybody else just to take advantage of what the defense gives us and, and be aggressive. And uh, about one game for you now. Like, how are you feeling? Just getting more integrated into the flow on both ends of the floor now? Um, it is, it's getting better, um, definitely. I'm um, feeling more and more comfortable as, as the games go on. Um, I mean, I expected there to be ups and downs, and some games are better than others, but um, just learn the, the system, how they want to guard, how they want to play offense, and um, just yeah, try to get more and more comfortable each game. And what's the biggest challenge you ran up from that standpoint like, about your first yeah, um, I mean, I've just been coached, I mean, one way the whole time with those principles of philosophy um, since I've been in the league. Um, I mean, he may came from there, but he got his own um, philosophies and the way he wants to handle it, the coaching. So I'm um, just getting adjusted to that. And, and, and obviously the, the new team and new teammates, um, they've all played together for seems like forever and I'm just kind of thrown in and so I'm just trying to get on board with what they what they've been doing. So it was one of your best defensive performances you've had here. Have you gotten more comfortable kind of knowing like what angles to pick guys up when they're driving and how to like stop the ball higher so you can work the position balls and things like that? Yeah, um I mean just getting pulled aside by the coaching staff. Um just telling me little things that, that I need to work on and what they're looking for and um and at the end of the day, just going to compete. That's that's really what I just try to do. What was like one of the things that's going to work on? Um, probably just be more physical early, um, especially when I'm on the bigs. Um, but I mean, that's just something that will come with time because it's a little different than what we did in San Antonio. So, um, but that's a big thing that they've been working on. Yeah, when you were picking up post ups, it seemed like you were trying to bait them to turn and then swipe down the ball, or you trying to push them out and then catch for them. Yeah, just try to be physical early. Um, I mean, the strip down and stuff, I mean, that's just kind of what I do. But um, just be smart with it and try to do my work early. What's it like to join a team that's on a run like this? San Antonio, you guys just trying to stay 500, you know, winning, losing, that kind of thing every day. But this team has kind of been on the road. What's it like to kind of jump in to the very good one right now? Um, I mean, just try not to mess it up. I mean, they were on a, a good stretch before I got here, and, and I just wanted to come in and just help them continue that. Um, but, I mean, it is, it's always been fun winning, um, competing every night, uh, just looking forward each and every time, and I mean, knowing that we got we got a nice advantage, a nice team that we can go out and compete with anybody. Derek, you're second in the league and charge is taken. What does it take to do that, and how much pride are you taking in that? Um, I mean, that's kind of something I've done my whole life. Um, just kind of stand there, um, be in the right position, and then just take the charge. So um, I haven't gotten too many since I've been here, but uh, got a couple today. And, I mean, it's just something that I've done my whole life. Are you making sure Marcus Smart knows how many you take into any competition going on? I mean, what's smart in the league? You know that? I don't know that. Not, not first. No. <laughs> it's Blake Griffin. Really? Interesting, but I would have guessed Kyle Lowry, but I mean, it's just something that I've done my whole life and hope I continue with.
What does it take to stand there though and take those like that? Um, some hurt more than others. <laughs> um, depends on positioning, um, who it is, but just being able to stand there, um, take it in your chest and um, get the call. Time with Larry for a second. Ty with Larry? Yeah, Smart's way down there at 11. So we're right Not there. even top 10. Come on, Smart. That's good. Bet. I have a Zoom question there. Go ahead. A Zoom question from John Corrales. Hey, Derek, you are in a unique position where you were an opponent and you saw this team at its basically its worst. And then you joined the team and now they're at their best. What what have you seen just from that perspective from the outside when they were playing poorly and now here? What differences have you seen in this team? Um, I mean, on the outside, I mean, you don't really know what's going on in the locker room. You just hear the stories that are going on. But, um, I mean, just being in the locker room and seeing how the guys interact and um, get along, I mean, that was a little different than I expected. But, I mean, it's been it's been a lot of fun just to um, join the guys. We got a lot of great guys in the locker room. And um, everybody, I see each other succeed. So it's, it's been fun just to join in on that side. Question from Bobby Manning. Hey, Derek, I'm curious. You've, you've been coached by uh, Ime in San Antonio and Boston. I'm just interested in kind of what his half times are like, especially in a game like this where you kind of had a down second quarter and then you just come out storming into the third. Uh, what kind of things are you going through? What kind of things that he is he doing at halftime? And how does that kind of compare to what he did in San Antonio? Um, I mean, San Antonio, Pop runs the, the halftime, so he might not do too much. I mean, they might have did a little coaches meeting, but when, what we saw. But um, just going over adjustments, um, mistakes that we made during the first half, um, just a bunch of little things that we need to improve on. And and then third quarter, just go out there and, and – make those corrections and, and compete. Final question from John Corrales. Hey, just just when you were talking about the locker room stuff, like, what were you, from the outside, what do you assume would be going on? And then when you get into that locker room, what are you, what are you seeing that, that's different than what you expected? Um, I mean, from the outside, you don't really know what's going on except for whatever you hear that makes like national news or something. So... Um, I mean, I knew a lot of the guys before I got here, um, so it was nice to have that prior um, relationship. So I knew that when I came in, it would, it would be a, a pretty good fit. But, um, yeah, I mean, you don't really know too much about what's the day-to-day -day work and this and that, like people outside of basketball um, until you're really in a locker room with them. So it's been cool just to get to know guys better. Thank you, Derek.